Dawn of the Z Legends. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and I got a weekly story time Shrippum box with an upside down Dragon Ball Zenkai Dawn of the Z Legends. Dawn of the Z Legends Zenkai Dragon Ball Shrippum. Because there's a secret rare in one of these, and I want to find it. So I'm going to tell you guys this story about how I really had my boost in my uh, creativity and how I got into making all this stuff. So. I think I may have mentioned a part of this story at one point in time, but I had a really, 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 really good friend when I was in high school, and she was one of the coolest people I've ever known in my entire life, and I kind of basically felt like if I was a girl, I would have been her. We were we were super, super tight, and unfortunately, right before I went to college, um, she passed away in an accident. She was in a car crash, and um, it was heart-wrenching. Really, really, really messed me up, and um, I was super depressed my first year of college. I was in a hard time making friends and getting out into the world and living life but um you know i spent a lot of time learning about this class called qigong which i talked about a little bit and um i gotta bless them let's bless my bardock pack here i got into this class called qigong i was doing some meditation i was taking some art courses and um i had a me my shrimp um can this is where i put all my shrimp ums Make sure it's in here and then I put them in a bag and I recycle them. I recommend doing it also, it's a nice idea. Um, so I was taking this class called Qigong and we were doing these like movement meditations. There's a lot of meditation in that class. It's kind of what, oh, this is cool. Yeah, Gogeta, 100K of Gogeta. Gotta love having those, that's very rad. Um, doing a lot of like breathing and movement and meditation exercises to learn how to kind of focus your energy. And you know, I was feeling really bummed out and um, I decided to do a Qigong practice and kind of do some meditation. This was about maybe eight months after she had passed away. And, um, you know, I was, uh, I was doing this practice and after I kind of just sat there and was meditating and it was the craziest thing. I, I swear I heard her voice just come into my head, like in my brain. And she was like, hey boy, what are you doing? I was like, what? What are you? What? What? What are you talking about? And she was like, Why are you so sad all the time? And I was like, Are you kidding me? Like, you're gone. You're not here. I can never see you again. I can't ever say anything to you ever. Like, there's no, there's no recourse. There's nothing. There's just, you're just not here. And it just totally sucks. And that's like the worst ever. Um, I hate, I hate it. You know, I hate waking up and you not being here. It's really sucks. And it, you know, it was every day I was feeling like that. And. I felt like I had this chance to tell her because I was like hearing her inside of my head. And um, I, I swear I heard her say to me, she was like, dude, she was like, you got to get over this. She was like, you got to stop this because you and I are the only people I've ever met that knew how to live life like us. And if you don't keep living life the way that we love to live life, people are going to miss out on the opportunity to see how fun life can be by seeing the way that you live it. And that like totally, totally shook my foundation. It, it really rocked me and changed my perspective. This is a sick looking card. It really rocked me and changed my perspective on the way that I felt about her not being there and not as much as just thinking about missing her, but living more in honor of, you know, what our friendship was and what we had done together and how much fun we had had and the ways that we had fun. and. It was really after that that my my art really kind of started blossoming and whoa this is sick gohan sun gohan flash of brilliance he's got to have glasses on because it's so flashy he's gonna get blinded by all this beautiful shiny hollow foil gold business going on there and his little bro right there but yeah, it was really after that that my art really took a turn and I was just like, you know, I, I, I like creating stuff. I wanna create things. I've always liked creating things and I don't know why I'm not spending every second of every day making as much as I possibly can. So I really started putting a lot more energy into just making as much stuff as I could and it was just a snowball effect from there. It was thing after another thing and I was taking all different sorts of art classes and, you know, it wasn't until years later that I was hanging out with, um, my friend in Hawaii is actually a friend of my mom. She's um, a very spiritual lady and has lots of very interesting insights to the universe and life. And I was talking to her about how I felt like, you know, I had been dealing and moving on with the passing of my friend, Christy. And um, 
she said something to me that really stuck with me in a kind of sour way. She was like, I don't think you've gotten over Chrissy when I was talking about her. And I, I took it kind of personally. I was actually kind of like pissed in the moment. I was like, man, like I've done a lot of work to try and, you know, deal with the pain and of loss and, and learn to move forward in a healthy way. And I really thought that I was. And I thought about that more and more and more. And I realized, wow, Omega Shenron unfeeling retribution these SPRs look great in this set I love the card stock they're using for them this card's sick this is one of my favorite cards obviously favorite card is urine but this card's really cool but I was thinking about it more and more and I realized you know maybe maybe I hadn't maybe I hadn't let her go maybe I was still holding on to stuff um, in my mind about you know not just trying to live for myself but trying to live for both of us and it actually was taking away from my ability to drive and live on for myself and who I am and what I'm doing. Now, this is everything in the box. That's five SRs and two SPRs, so it's nothing in these packs. We'll open the Blessum. I wanna have one sealed pack of each art. So I'm gonna change out the Blessum because now we'll have one, 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 and then that one. That's the four arts. So I'm gonna keep those and let's just strip them these two for fun. You know, so I, I realized at that point that actually, you know, when, when you lose somebody, it can become a little easier when you feel like you're living for both of you but really you have to live for yourself because at the end of the day no matter what in life you no matter who you're with who you love who you spend your time with who you care about you're always going to wake up and go to sleep with yourself and you have to really love that person and be in the life of that person and if it is good then you know you can get to share that with other people and, and grow on your own in a positive way so you know it really taught me a lot and i feel like i figured a lot from that experience but i hope that offers some perspective on you know your guys life and you can share and resonate with some of that stuff these cards look great though by the way this is awesome um but yeah you know at the end of the day what is life but observing and if you have the time to make some stuff and make some people smile and have a good time why not anyway it's a biking without smiles i am a dentist i can't without doing a dental tooth tip if you're not happy with the way that your front teeth look get them fixed because a lot of people actually won't smile because they don't like the way that their teeth look and if you don't smile it actually affects your heart your emotional state impacts your entire physiology and expressing happiness is a really really important thing to do and it's easier to do when you're psyched about the way your teeth look so if you don't have run teeth or if your teeth are damaged or you don't like the way they look i'd recommend taking the time to fix that so that you can and even if they're not your real teeth even if they're fake teeth or they're adjusted teeth or reshaped teeth having the confidence to project your happiness and really allows you to connect with more people and at the end of the day that's one of the things that makes life worth living so thank you so much and i'll see you guys next time